Eight years after Han Ju killed Chen Santian, Xing Hongxian came to Han Ju's cave dwelling one day. Is my husband here? When Han Ju saw Xing Hongxian, he was so frightened that he twisted all over. Forget about the senior sister. How could she too? Is the formation just for show? Miss Xing, what brings you here? Soon, Xing Hongxian made her purpose clear, taking out dozens of jade purity pills and generously said, These are the jade purity pills I have saved up over the years. Feel free to use them. Han Ju's expression softened. You should take them back. I don't need them anymore. Xing Hongxuan's smile froze, and then her expression changed drastically. Could it be that you've already? Han Ju seriously said, Don't spread the word about my breakthrough. Miss Xing, if you want to be my cultivation partner, you must cultivate diligently. Otherwise, centuries later, I will become an immortal, and you will turn into bones. Your deep affection will then be a punishment to me. Upon hearing this, Xing Hongxian couldn't help but calm down. You're right, I can't be a drag on you, my husband. Focus on your cultivation. I will go and get you elixirs suitable for the Golden Core Realm. Han Ju was dumbfounded upon hearing this. That's not what I meant. At this time, in a dark hall within the headquarters of the Azure Nether Demon Sect, the sect leader Duan Tongtian was discussing with seven elders about attacking the Jade Pure Sect. They had been contending with Li Qingzi for decades. Li Qingzi intentionally did not return to the Jade Pure Sect, drawing most of their attention. Someone suggested attacking the Jade Pure Sect directly, and immediately everyone agreed, except Duan Tongtian, who did not speak for a long time. After everyone quieted down, he slowly said, I am about to undergo spirit transformation. If successful, attacking the Jade Pure Sect will almost be guaranteed. Upon hearing this, all the elders looked at him in shock. Do you have confidence, sect leader? For this, I have prepared for decades. I am 90% confident. Just wait another 30 years. Hearing this, everyone burst into excited cheers. Another 10 years passed, and Han Ju had cultivated his thunder and wind spiritual roots to the ninth level of the Golden Core. He seemed to see the nascent soul stage beckoning him, completely immersed in this joyous time, unable to extricate himself. Suddenly, Chan Yuer appeared beside Han Ju out of nowhere, scaring him with her ability to come and go without a trace. Senior sister, please, give my cave some face. The formation was set up by me. Naturally, I know how to get in. Chan Yuer explained, I came to bring you some heavenly materials and earthly treasures. Planting them by the pond can make the spiritual energy in your cave dwelling even richer. It might even become the cave dwelling with the best spiritual energy in the Jade Pure Sect. Han Ju immediately expressed his gratitude to his senior sister. Chan Yuer smiled and said, Don't thank me. These were rewards from our master. I'm just doing some physical work. Han Ju couldn't help but exclaim, Master, you're the best. At this time, Chan Yuer started chatting with Han Ju about the things that had happened at Jade Seclusion Peak over the years. In the past few years, several new disciples have joined Jade Seclusion Peak. The disciple ranked after you, Brother Tai, passed away two years ago. He died a natural death. Upon learning that old Tai had passed away two years ago, Han Ju was momentarily stunned. Old Tai is gone? This disciple Tai had poor aptitude and died when his lifespan ran out. According to his servant, he wanted to see you before he died, but what for? We'll never know. Hearing this news, Han Ju's expression became complicated. In the past, he quite disliked Old Tai, but looking back now, Old Tai had never harmed him, and could even be said to have taken care of him. Now, that dislike has vanished, replaced with a touch of melancholy. Senior sister, you must control your cultivation well. If one day you're not here, I really wouldn't know what to do. Upon hearing this, Chang Yuer smiled brightly. Silly junior brother, I thought you didn't care about me at all in your heart. After chatting for a while, Chang Yuer said, the spiritual herbs are all set up. It's time for your senior sister to go back to her cultivation. I'll strive to accompany my junior brother on the path of cultivation for a longer journey. Although Chang Yuer was joking, these words sounded like heartfelt truths to Han Ju. He remained silent for a long time, then wrote two characters on the cave wall, Old Tai. I hope you're born into a good family in your next life. Another decade or so passed, and Han Ju had had reached the ninth level of the Golden Core in all but his earth and with spiritual roots. On his hundredth birthday, the system unlocked a new feature for him. Congratulations on reaching a hundred years old. The simulation trial function has been opened. You can set the cultivation level and strength tier of your opponent for simulated combat. It's also possible to scan all beings within a hundred miles and copy their strength for battle. The results of the battle won't affect your physical body or mental state in reality. Han Ju was overjoyed. This is simply divine. I've always been unclear about my own strength. Now I can finally test it. Immediately, Han Ju carried out a simulation trial. The next second, he was in a space, and soon heard the system's voice. You can choose someone from your interpersonal relationships as the model for your opponent's strength. He immediately chose the strongest person he knew, sect leader Li Qingzi. The next second, someone who looked exactly like the sect leader appeared before Han Ju. Before Han Ju could react, Li Qingzi launched an attack. Fortunately, Han Ju used the sevenfold illusion step in time to dodge. Then he went all out and used the three pure shadows sword tech technique against Li Qingzi. However, when the smoke cleared, Li Qingzi was unharmed and covered in a golden color, using the unique skill, Heavenly
extremely strong golden body. Han Ju marveled at how powerful this skill was. As Li Qingzi attacked again, Han Ju threw a nine dragons demon subduing seal at him, which Li Qingzi broke with a punch. Han Ju kept switching among six types of spiritual power, hitting Li Qingzi with one nine dragons demon subduing seal after another. Soon, Li Qingzi was sent flying by the seals. Han Ju was quite surprised. The nine dragons demon subduing seal is indeed not simple. It pushed the sect leader to this extent. Currently, I'm barely managing against the eighth level of the nascent soul realm. I can only repel, not defeat. Just then, the system popped up a prompt. Do you want to adjust the opponent's strength? Han Ju looked at the adjustable range. This simulation trial is getting more and more interesting. At this time, inside the main hall of the Jade Pure Sect's main peak, the sect leader and all the elders were gathered. Every person's face showed a grave expression. Li Qingzi spoke in a deep voice. Duan Tong Tian successfully underwent tribulation crossing last month and has been consolidating his spirit transformation cultivation level. Meanwhile, I have already sought help from the various factions of the Righteous Path, but none have responded. It would be great if Ancestor were here. He is at the mid-stage of the spirit transformation realm, but he has been away for many years and cannot be found. So, it will be up to me and the Supreme Elder to deal with Duan Tong Tian. Upon hearing this, the elders tried to dissuade him. Brother, don't, Li Qingzi said firmly. There's no other way. With your current levels of cultivation, none of you would make a difference. Not to mention Duan Tong Tian. You can't even break through my heavenly strong golden body, and you are very aware of this. The Supreme Elder and I will confront Duan Tong Tian. My heavenly strong golden body, as the strongest technique of the Jade Pure Sect, I hope can withstand a battle against him. Meanwhile, after Han Ju's continuous attempts, he was now able to break through Li Qingzi's heavenly strong golden body at the nascent soul fifth level. However, to an outsider, Han Ju appeared to be dozing off. Another ten years passed, and Han Ju finally cultivated all his spiritual roots to the ninth level of the golden core, reaching great perfection. Today, he officially began his breakthrough to the nascent soul stage. Just as Han Ju started his tribulation crossing, Chan Yuer was running towards him in a panic. It turned out that an invasion by the demonic sect was imminent. She wanted to inform Han Ju and take him to the inner sect for temporary shelter. But from afar, she saw that Han Ju was undergoing tribulation crossing, mistakenly thinking that he was breaking through to the golden core stage. She then thought, if the Azure Nether Demon sect attacks from this direction, wouldn't that interrupt his tribulation crossing? Forcibly interrupting it is a major taboo of tribulation crossing. My junior brother could be backlash and harmed. No, as his senior sister, I must protect him. With my strength, it's difficult to protect my junior brother. So, when junior brother wakes up, I'll immediately take him back to the inner sect to hide. Who made me fall for you? I'll protect you for now. Ten days later, the demonic sect's army finally attacked the Jade Pure sect. Chan Yuer discovered they were attacking from a different direction. They just happened to avoid junior brother's cave dwelling. If I were to take him to the inner sect now, it would actually harm him. This is for the best. As long as junior brother stays in his cave dwelling, he will be safe. Sorry, I have to go ahead to assist our master and swear to share life and death. Junior brother, don't come back. After an unknown amount of time, Han Ju finally broke through to the nascent soul realm. He discovered that even the six realms of reincarnation technique had undergone a transformation. All spiritual roots merged, and the six types of spiritual power unified into a new and powerful spiritual energy. The six paths spiritual power could now directly absorb spiritual power from the heavens and earth, without the need to absorb specific spiritual power from corresponding spiritual roots for cultivation. Cultivating solely with the six paths spiritual power became more efficient than before. The system also sent a prompt, congratulations on your breakthrough to the nascent soul realm and receiving a divine ability reward. However, what excited Han Ju the most was that his lifespan had increased to 998 years. You have chosen the path of a sword cultivator. Congratulations on obtaining the sword Dao divine ability, heaven punishing demon god sword. But that wasn't the end. The system sent another prompt, your sect, Jade Pure Sect, is currently under attack by the Azure Nether Demon Sect. The strongest in the Jade Pure Sect, Azure Nether Demon Sect leader Duan Tong Tian, Spirit Transformation Realm Level 1, has been detected. Would you like to start the simulation trial immediately? Han Ju was about to refuse instinctively, but then calm down. I could kill nascent soul cultivators when I was at the Golden Core Realm. Now, I should have the strength to fight against Spirit Transformation. He then started the simulation trial. At this time, on the main peak of the Jade Pure Sect, a demonic sect elder, Jean Kung Mo, was continuously shouting the name Loki. Loki, come out and face your death. Not showing yourself? Have you run away early? Ha! Ah, the people of the Jade Pure Sect are indeed a bunch of trash. All disciples, hear my command. Burn everything. Kill everyone. Loot everything. If we can't find Loki, we'll use the Jade Pure Sect disciples to commemorate the spirit of my disciple in heaven. On the other side, just one minute had passed, and Han Ju successfully finished the trial. He was dumbfounded. Duan Tong Tian. That's it. On the main peak of the Jade Pure Sect, Li Qingzi and the Supreme Elder were already at their limit under Duan Tong Tian's oppressive force. But for the sake of the Jade Pure Sect, they had to fight. Duan 
Tong Tian looked down on them, laughing wildly. Just kneel and beg for mercy, and maybe I'll let you suffer less. Li Qingzi responded with hatred. The disciples of the Jade Pure Set would rather die than submit to the demon path. After saying that, he mustered his last bit of strength to attack Duan Tong Tian, but was sent flying back like a cannonball the next second. The Supreme Elder sighed. It's no use. The skull behind him is innate black magnet. Our spiritual power is absorbed by it, and directly neutralized. With that treasure, this demon can exhaust us to death. Not far away, Shishuan Fairy sighed. The Jade Pure Sect is finished after all. Shishuan Fairy couldn't help but think of Han Ju. That brat is probably still in seclusion. I hope no one finds his cave dwelling. And Chan Yuer, I'm sorry. As your master, I can't protect you. I have to go ahead of you. At that moment, by the cliff's edge, Maju was cornered by members of the demonic sect. To preserve her innocence, she resolutely jumped off the cliff. Her spiritual power had already been depleted, and she couldn't even manage to fly with her sword. She slowly closed her eyes, and the last thing she thought about was that man. If I had cultivated as diligently as him, I wouldn't be in this situation now. I wonder if I'll meet him again in my next life. But just then, a familiar voice sounded in her ears. She suddenly opened her eyes and found that the man she had been thinking of was holding her, while those from the demonic sect behind them had all been turned into mincemeat. Maju was puzzled. Are we dead? Did we go to heaven? Soon, Hanju found Mafuchu and directly handed Maju over to him before flying towards the main peak. Along the way, he instantly killed three golden core cultivators who were attacking Mafuchu. Hanju could feel the powerful oppression coming from the main peak. I hope I can still make it in time. At that moment, he detected Chan Yuer's presence. Chan Yuer and others were being surrounded by a group of demon cultivators. Just as they were preparing to fight to the death, suddenly, three flashes flew from afar. The next second, the demon cultivators were split in half like fruit and fruit ninja. Chan Yuer and the others were stunned. Hanju didn't stay for a moment longer and continued flying towards the main peak. Meanwhile, in a forest, a one-eyed man was pressuring Xing Hong Xian, become my cultivation partner, come back with me to the Azure Nether Demon Sect, and I'll spare your life. How could Xing Hong Xian ever agree? Pa, Duan Tong Tian killed my parents. Even if I die, I won't go back. Just as the one-eyed man was about to make his move, Xing Hong Xian suddenly exclaimed with joy, my husband. The one-eyed man thought Xing Hong Xian had given in. Ha, huh, you agree just like that? Good, you're quite obedient. I knew it. Without applying some pressure, how could you have submitted? Han Ju had already appeared behind him with eyes red, resolving the second disciple of the demonic sect with just one move. After instructing Xing Hong Xian to find a place to hide, he continued rushing towards the main peak. At this time, the system indicated that Xing Hong Xuan's favorability towards him had risen to six stars. Han Ju couldn't help but give a bitter smile, my damn charm and strength. At this moment, atop the main peak, Li Qingzi, the Supreme Elder, and Xi Xuan Fairy, among others, were all heavily injured. Li Qingzi and the Supreme Elder were in the worst condition. Duan Tong Tian looked down on everyone from above and the next second, he appeared in front of Shishuan Fairy. Is this all the strength the Jade Pure Sect has? Back in the day, my demonic sect only killed some people for our goo cultivation and yet, we've been targeted for a hundred years. Now that I am in the spirit transformation stage, who dares to block us? Using the cultivators of your entire sect for our goo cultivation will surely increase our sect's strength significantly. Then, the number one sect in the Great Swallow Dynasty will be ours. Ha ha ha. Shishuan Fairy, aren't you going to give up yet? Guess how many people from the Jade Pure Sect are still alive? After saying this, he raised his hand to deliver a fatal blow to Shishuan Fairy. At this critical moment, Hanju timely appeared and rescued Shishuan Fairy. It was the first time he saw her in such a sorry state. He asked with concern, Master, are you alright? Shishuan Fairy, upon seeing Hanju, also widened her eyes, but the next second, she punched him in the face. What are you doing here? Run, listen to me, flee as far as you can. From now on, you are no longer a disciple of the Jade Pure Sect. Duan Tong Tian felt ignored, which made him furiously embarrassed. Kid, you've got guts. If you kneel and kowtow three times, I'll spare your life and even give you a chance to join the Azure Nether Demon Sect. At this time, the system also popped up two options. However, Hanju was not influenced by these choices. The reason he came here was that he had already made up his mind. He stepped closer to Duan Tong Tian, his blood boiling. Even a survivor cultivator has his own passion. Just then, a voice suddenly said, Loki, so you are here. Zhang Kunmo fiercely appeared behind Hanju. Duan Tong Tian laughed. He he he, there's no need for me to make a move. With Elder Zhang Kunmo's strength, he alone could crush you all. However, as soon as his words fell, Zhang Kunmo was sent flying out like a cannonball. Everyone who saw the scene was shocked. Hanju, however, smiled at Duan Tong Tian. Are you ready? It's time to send you on your way. Meanwhile, the blasted Zhang Kunmo struggled up from the ground, furiously roaring, Loki, I'll kill you, abyssal demon lamp. With your souls, I shall pay homage to my disciple, Chen San Tian. Disciple, do you see? I am avenging you. He summoned his most powerful magical treasure and charged at Hanju. Hanju, however, slowly raised his left hand, extending just his index finger. Three pure shadows soared. In just an instant, the once invincible elder of the Azure Nether 
another demon sect had his head exploded by Han Ju's attack. Everyone was frightened by this strike. At this moment, Duan Tong Tian was wearing a mocking smile. To be so young and yet able to slay an elder of my sect with a sword, why not join our demonic sect? Wealth, partners, methods, and territory. I can give them all to you. Before he could finish speaking, three sword shadows had already arrived in front of Duan Tong Tian. But the next second, a red shield appeared in front of him, blocking the three sword shadows. Seeing his three pure shadow sword block so easily, Han Ju was puzzled. What exactly is behind him? Behind me is the innate black magnet. This treasure can absorb spiritual power and is immune to most attacks. Unless your spiritual power is stronger than mine, you cannot touch me. I have already given you a chance. Blame your own presumption. Do you really think I would cherish talent? The world does not lack geniuses. Why are true geniuses so rare in this world? It's because they survive on their own abilities. The rest perish halfway, just like you will. As he spoke, Duan Tong Tian suddenly released the terrifying pressure of the spirit transformation stage, enveloping the entire Jade Pure sect. In an instant, all the fighting disciples of the Jade Pure sect were shocked and looked towards the main peak. I will let all members of the Jade Pure sect die before your eyes. I want to see how you plan to protect the Jade Pure sect. At this moment, Han Ju had already drawn his sword. Enough talk. Are you done? Do you have any last words? As he spoke, Han Ju raised the sword in his hand, preparing to unleash a divine ability. Duan Tong Tian laughed wildly. Last words? Save them for yourself. But suddenly, he could no longer laugh. As Han Ju released his divine ability, Duan Tong Tian realized he was locked onto, unable to move even a fraction. This divine ability was Han Ju's heaven punishing demon god sword. As the sword energy swept over, Duan Tong Tian evaporated as if under intense heat, dissipating between heaven and earth. Everyone was scared out of their wits, not knowing how many times today alone. Nascent soul slaying spirit transformation, that's truly badass. However, at this moment, Han Ju sensed that Duan Tong Tian's primordial spirit had escaped. This hidden danger must not remain. He immediately pursued the primordial spirit. At this moment, atop a pile of ruins, Duan Tong Tian's primordial spirit was trembling incessantly. Lucky I ran fast. Who exactly is this person? Loki. This voice suddenly scared Duan Tong Tian tremendously. Han Ju had appeared behind Duan Tong Tian without him knowing when. The hundred year struggle between the Jade Pure sect and the Azure Nether Demon sect ends today. He raised his left hand and used the divine ability of the six realms of reincarnation, six paths soul absorption. Duan Tong Tian immediately began to scream in agony. Loki, I won't let you off even as a ghost. The monster taming demon sect won't let you off. After a few shouts, his primordial spirit was refined by Han Ju. Han Ju was puzzled. What the heck is the monster taming demon sect? Two system notifications were heard. You have successfully killed a spirit transformation cultivator and obtained a spirit controlling pill. Xiao has developed hatred towards you with a current hatred level of five stars. Han Ju was baffled. Who is Xiao? He immediately opened the relationship list and found that Xiao was at the second level of the fusion void realm. Han Ju was speechless. I knew there would be older ones coming to cause trouble. At at this moment, everyone suddenly noticed that the innate black magnet left by Duan Tong Tian was emitting an anomaly. A thick smoke emerged from the innate black magnet, and shortly after, a figure appeared from within the smoke. Fellow Daoist, truly a splendid divine ability, nascent soul slaying spirit transformation has broadened my horizons. Han Ju was about to strike with his sword, but the other party said, it's futile. I am a great cultivator of the fusion void realm. Your divine ability cannot slay spirits like ours. If only Duan Tong Tian had bought a bit more time, I would never cover just this much. Hearing this, Master Jingxu was shocked. Fusion Void? Who are you? I am Xiaowa, an elder of the monster taming demon sect from the northern province. My sect has planned for many years, but did not account for your variable. I'll remember this debt. Are you saying that Duan Tong Tian was merely stalling for time, actually for your sake? Of course. That waste told me no one in the Jade Pure sect was his match, allowing me to. At this point, Xiaowa realized, Kid, are you trying to trick information out of me? Seeing that your primordial spirit is different from ordinary ones, could it be that your physical body has been damaged? Damaged, or even destroyed, right? Xiao scoffed. You're not qualified to know. I simply disdain to bully the younger generation. That's all. I've already sent the message back to the demon sect. Wait for the monster taming demon sect's retaliation. With that, Xiao disappeared. Only then did Li Qingzi understand. No wonder the Azure Nether demon sect plotted against the myriad demon realm. It was all arranged by the monster taming demon sect. The top priority now is to eradicate all the demon cultivators within the sect. Han Ju, I need your help. While speaking, Li Qingzi realized that Han Ju was completely ignoring him and went straight to Shishuan Ferry to heal her wounds. Li Qingzi was speechless. Han, your master's injuries aren't that serious. Hearing Li Qingzi ask him to eradicate the demonic sect, Han Ju immediately refused without a second thought. No way, my master is the most important. If you wanna go, you go. Choking aside, if I were to take down the entire demonic sect, wouldn't that make me too famous? Fame is something I'd like to avoid. Shishuan Ferry's lips curved slightly upon hearing this. At this moment, the other elders present cast envious glances toward Shishuan Ferry. Elder Dao 
Lei then asked Han Ju, fellow Taoist, what is your background? With your abilities, you surely can't be a disciple cultivated by our Jade Pure sect alone. A chance encounter doesn't necessarily mean we've met before. You only need to know that I am now a disciple of the Jade Pure sect, and I will not harm the Jade Pure sect, Han Ju replied. As they were talking, other elders from the demonic sect rushed over, but they couldn't find Duan Tong Tian anywhere. Instead, they found Zhang Kunmo's body. Li Qingzi then utilized all his spiritual energy, his voice echoing throughout the entire Jade Pure sect. The leader of the demonic sect, Duan Tong Tian, is dead. Disciples of the Jade Pure sect, hear my command, exterminate all demon cultivators within the sect. Upon hearing that their leader was dead, the members of the demonic sect were so frightened that they fled in all directions. The disciples of the Jade Pure sect were greatly encouraged and chased after the fleeing demonic cultivators, beating them like stray dogs. Seeing the demon cultivators scattering, everyone couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. Li Qingzi then turned to Han Ju with a fervent look in his eyes. Fellow elders, I believe everyone present has seen Han Ju's strength. Given his performance today, from now on, Han Ju will be the vice sect leader of the Jade Pure sect. As for me, my cultivation can no longer make any breakthroughs. The future of the Jade Pure sect will depend on the younger generation. Han Ju has great potential and fully qualifies for this position. I suppose there are no objections. Suddenly, a voice rang out. I object. The voice came from Han Ju himself. I only wish to cultivate in peace. Being a vice sect leader is so tiresome. Where would I find the time to cultivate? Hearing this, Li Qingzi couldn't help feeling conflicted. In the end, it was the supreme elder who suggested, then let him be a nominal elder. He will enjoy the same stipend as the sect leader, and unless the sect is in trouble, no one is allowed to disturb him on ordinary days. Upon hearing this, Han Ju immediately nodded in satisfaction. This is exactly what I like. Speaking of which, that person was at the fusion void realm. Could he not? It's alright. As you guessed earlier, he indeed only has his primordial spirit left. Duan Tong Tian probably promised to help him recover his physical body in exchange for a breakthrough opportunity. The reason for the delay might have been to use some secret method to absorb the spiritual energy and vitality of the Jade Pure sect. Moreover, the northern province is as far from us as the ends of the earth. Even if he comes over, our allies of the righteous path won't let him cause chaos. Yet, Han Ju still felt insecure. Better to continue my secluded cultivation and surpass the fusion void realm as soon as possible. After the battle between the Jade Pure sect and the Azure Nether Demon sect concluded, tales of a mysterious powerful being quietly spread within the Jade Pure sect. In this moment of crisis for the Jade Pure sect, we were fortunate to have our god-slaying elder. With a single sword strike, he vanquished a spirit transformation, turning peril into safety. Hearing what Shishuan Fairy had said, a wave of fanboys and fangirls for the god-slaying elder immediately emerged among the audience. Our sect actually hides a spirit transformation realm powerhouse. Starting today, the god-slaying elder is my idol. Any sisters interested in joining the god-slaying fan group? I heard he's super handsome. After letting everyone leave, Shishuan Fairy kept Han Ju behind. After a moment of silence between them, Shishuan Fairy spoke softly. Don't you have anything to say? Han Ju was puzzled. What should I say? Tell me who you really are. What is your purpose in the Jade Pure sect? Li Qingzi might not care, but as your master, I need to understand clearly. No wonder you never needed my teachings. Should I call you fellow Taoist Han from now on? Han Ju was speechless. You should have already understood my background from Brother Tai. Do you not believe in my talent? Shishuan Fairy narrowed her eyes slightly. Even if you have exceptional talent, where did you get those techniques from? Han Ju then realized, nascent soul slaying spirit transformation is too outrageous. No one would believe it if I told them. Plus, I've always kept a low profile but managed to acquire top-notch resources. Even a fool would see something's amiss. Eventually, Han Ju thought of a suitable excuse and thus began his story. Once upon a time, there was a child who loved drinking beast milk and lived carefree every day. One day, under a charred old willow tree struck by lightning, he found a ring, intent on turning it over to the local constable. As he picked up the ring without greed, suddenly, an immortal popped out from it. The immortal took one look at him and wanted to take him as a disciple. Seeing your extraordinary bones, you must be a rare genius. Our meeting is faded. Here, I have a yellow rank technique to give to you. Since then, the immortal would often teach me techniques through dreams, saying that I was destined to become a celestial being. But fate is filled with hardships, so I secluded myself daily, daring not to cause trouble. As he fabricated this, Han Ju thought, the more I make up, the more outrageous it becomes. Master probably won't believe it, right? To his surprise, Shishuan Fairy actually believed it. So that's how it is. There have indeed been such precedents. Given that, why did you step forward at that time? The Jade Pure sect hasn't treated you well, and I believe you don't really consider the Jade Pure sect as your home. Indeed, I've lived for a hundred years, and there aren't many people I care about. By chance, they are all in the Jade Pure sect. The most important person among them wanted to live and die together with the Jade Pure sect. At that moment, the system sent a notification. Shishuan Fairy's favorability towards you has increased to 3.5 stars. Even Shishuan Fairy was pleasantly moved by that statement. She quickly changed the subject. So, what are your plans moving
moving forward, continue with your seclusion? Yes, who knows when that fusion void realm demon will come to attack. I need to strengthen myself as fast as I can. With that, Shishuan Fairy allowed Hanju to leave. Upon returning to his cave dwelling, Hanju thought about the difference in the elders' attitudes towards him before and now. Is this what they call showing off? This feeling is really quite delightful. Indeed, strength is respected above all. It seems that my decision to focus on cultivation was correct. I will continue to dedicate myself fully to cultivation. At this moment, Chan Yu er came over again, carrying a pile of heavenly materials and earthly treasures. Junior brother, I'm here. The sect has collected quite a few items that can enhance the spiritual energy of your cave dwelling. I'll help you plant them. We also need to set up a spirit gathering array. Han Ju was continuously grateful. Thank you so much, senior sister. Joking? You're now the godslaying elder. Can I still call you my junior brother? Then, the system sent a notification. Your senior sister's favorability has reached five and a half stars. The next second, Han Ju suddenly pinned his senior sister against the wall. As long as senior sister seriously cultivates and doesn't slack off, you'll always be my senior sister. This move instantly made Chan Yuer's face turn bright red. I, I am cultivating, but I can't compare to junior brother. Han Ju then whispered in Chan Yuer's ear, senior sister, I have a request. Without hesitation, Chan Yuer agreed, mm, tell me, I'll fulfill it. Han Ju immediately revealed a cunning smile. Could you please set up another formation for the cave dwelling? Fireproof, theft proof, and senior sister proof. Thank you. In the following three years, the Jade Pure sect relentlessly pursued the remnants of the Azure Nether Demon sect, which had been causing trouble for a hundred years, until it was completely eradicated. The entire Great Swallow cultivation world was shocked. The title of the Godslaying Elder also spread throughout the cultivation world. Han Ju reached the second level of the nascent soul. At this moment, the system suddenly sent a message, a hidden achievement was completed. Duan Tongtian's death and the Azure Nether Demon sect's eradication, an additional reward was triggered. Besides the original reward of the spirit controlling pill, you have obtained a magical tool, the demon binding rope, and a spell manual, Myriad Thunderstorm. One day, thunderclouds suddenly gathered above the inner sect of the Jade Pure sect, terrifying heavenly might enveloping the 18 peaks, causing everyone to feel a chill down their spine. The elders thought another attack from the demonic sect was imminent and prepared for battle. However, the supreme elder, with a glint of gold in his eyes, looked towards the clouds and calmly stated, no need to worry, I used the energy observation technique to check, the source is from Hanju's area. Hearing this, the elders relaxed, then it's nothing to worry about, everyone, go back to your homes. At this time, over at Hanju's location, the cause of such a commotion was him practicing the newly acquired spell, Myriad Thunderstorm. This thunderous spell could summon the spiritual energy of the heavens and earth to unleash a world-ending thunderstorm. Feeling the power of this spell, Hanju was delighted, finally, I have a skill for widespread damage. Just then, Li Qingzi sought out Hanju, smiling and saying he had something to discuss. When they arrived at Hanju's cave dwelling, Li Qingzi offered, Elder Han, if you have any needs, just speak up. I've already informed all the elders. Your minor issues are major issues for the Jade Pure sect. This cave dwelling is indeed a bit small. How about moving to Main Peak for cultivation? It's spacious and comfortable there. Seeing the ill-intention look in Li Qingzi's eyes, Hanju immediately refused without a second thought. Seeing Hanju's refusal, Li Qingzi did not insist further and even mentioned, as for your innate cave dwelling, the sect will allocate its best resources to remodel it for you. He then revealed his real purpose for the visit, Elder Han. Would you be willing to take on a disciple? Hearing this, Hanju was taken aback. This individual has exceptional talent. Elder Han, you only need to provide some guidance when you have the time. Li Qingzi gestured, and a young man walked in from outside. At that moment, the system suddenly notified, innate destiny individual detected. Immediately, all the information about this person appeared before Hanju's eyes. Yang Tian Dong, bearing the bloodline of a demonic sage, was born half-human, half-demon, with unparalleled talent. However, in his youth, he once lost control and transformed into a demon, injuring his fellow sect members. He was imprisoned by the Azure Nether Demon Set and was fortunately rescued by the Jade Pure Sect. Upon seeing this, Hanju couldn't help but think, another protagonist template. Reluctantly, Hanju agreed, taking on a disciple is fine. However, he must be allowed to choose any cultivation technique from the Jade Pure Sect. I will only be responsible for teaching spells and divine abilities. Li Qingzi readily agreed and then brought over a large box. These are tokens representing your status as the Godslaying Elder. You can give them to your disciples in the future. Seeing this, Hanju was speechless. Is this so I can recruit a whole platoon of disciples? Before Hanju could say anything, Li Qingzi hurriedly left. Hanju then turned to Yang Tiandong. I have already deduced your background. Your name is Yang Tiandong, half-human, half-demon, and you were imprisoned by the Azure Nether Demon set, right? Upon hearing this, Yang Tiandong looked up in astonishment, shocked. Li Qingzi had specifically instructed him not to reveal his past to Hanju, but Hanju had directly deduced it. Yang Tiandong was thoroughly impressed with his new master. You could even deduce this, I admire you. At this moment, the system notified that Yang Tiandong's favorability 
hostility towards me had increased to three stars. Han Ju was secretly pleased. I have the system. What don't I know? Immediately, Han Ju handed him a token. All right, take good care of this token. Find a place to meditate and cultivate. Unexpectedly, Yang Tiandong suddenly said, Master, I have a request. My father left behind a profound skill that can only be cultivated at the spirit transformation level. With my limited talent, I beg master to teach me. Then, Yang Tiandong handed over a red feather. Seeing the feather, Han Ju was greatly shocked. This is. Upon taking the feather from Yang Tiandong, Han Ju discovered that his spiritual sense was blocked by it. It seems that to access the skill inside, one must have the spiritual sense of the spirit transformation level. He then waved his hand. I will study it first. The path of cultivation requires the will to endure hardship. Cultivate your spiritual power for 10 years, and then I will teach you spells. Yang Tiandong respectfully said, Thank you, master. Wait, 10 years? Hm, nothing, nothing. I will begin cultivating. In the blink of an eye, 10 years passed. During these 10 years, Han Ju also reached the fourth level of the nascent soul. When he opened his eyes to look at his soul disciple, he found Yang Tiandong looking at him with a sense of grievance, as if he had grown birds on his head. Master, you're finally awake. I've been sitting motionless for 10 years. I'm about to develop hemorrhoids. Seeing this, Han Ju couldn't help but feel embarrassed. However, seeing him progress from the first level of foundation establishment to the sixth level in 10 years, he does have some ability. He then asked, Disciple, how do you feel about these 10 years? Replying to Master, the disciple has greatly benefited from the hard cultivation over these 10 years, and has even comprehended many truths. Han Ju couldn't help but scoff internally, fooling around. I've been in seclusion for so many years and haven't comprehended any profound truths. Then he stretched lazily. Since that's the case, you should go out and complete some tasks. Hearing he could finally leave, Yang Tiandong was extremely excited. Really? I can go out? That's great. What task? I remember there's a monthly contribution leaderboard at the Sex Mission Tower. Return when you become first on the monthly board. The joy on Yang Tiandong's face instantly turned to despair. What? First on the monthly board? Who knows how long that will take? But before Yang Tiandong could say anything more, Han Ju kicked him out of the cave dwelling. After finally sending Yang Tiandong away, Han Ju took out the red feather. He decided to start unraveling the feather's seal now. He took out the spirit controlling pill he had obtained earlier, which was specifically meant to enhance spiritual sense. Han Ju immediately consumed all of it. After absorbing it, he felt his spiritual sense had strengthened more than tenfold. He projected his spiritual sense into the feather again. The previous resistance re-emerged, but this time, his spiritual sense collided with it and broke through the barrier in just a few seconds. Suddenly, countless golden symbols engulfed Han Ju. At the foot of the Jade Pure Sect Mountain, Mafuchu was leading a group of children towards the sect. He was now responsible for recruiting recruiting new disciples. Seeing them reminded him of his own early days in the Jade Pure sect, which brought a smile to his face. Suddenly, a whooshing sound was heard, and a bamboo arrow shot from the shadows towards Mafuchu. He instinctively dodged, but the bamboo arrow exploded not far from him, releasing a cloud of poison. Everyone, back off. We're under attack. Then, a figure clad in a straw raincoat, wielding dual blades, attacked Mafuchu. Mafuchu managed to block the strike and repelled the attacker several meters away. However, another assailant appeared behind him and stabbed Mafuchu. Mafuchu's shoulder with a spear. Seeing Mafuchu wounded, everyone was extremely worried. A man in a straw raincoat spoke in a deep voice, everyone, kneel down and don't move. We're only after Mafuchu. If you interfere, none of you will leave alive. Injured and on the edge of a critical hit, Mafuchu dared not act rashly. Who are you? Heavenly stars and earthly fiends, raincoat ghost. All we can tell you is that a great calamity is coming for the Jade Pure sect. At that moment, everyone felt the ground shake. A giant, whose upper body was submerged in the sea of clouds, appeared. It was Hanju. He was using the divine ability he had learned from the feather as heaven and earth to forge a physical body from vital energy. When fully mastered, one could have a body tens of thousands of meters tall. He shouted, You dare to capture my jade pure sex disciples right at our doorstep? The two individuals in straw raincoats were petrified upon seeing the gigantic Hanju. Hanju felt secretly delighted. This is heaven and earth ability is perfect for showing off. It's not just imposing but also has top tier destructive power. As Hanju charged towards them, the two were frozen in fear, even attempting to use Mafuchu as a hostage. However, Hanju ignored them completely, swinging his mountainous fist towards them. The other members of the Jade Pure sect were stunned, crying out, we're on the same side. But just as the fist was about to hit them, it vanished into thin air. Mafuchu saw a figure flash by his side, and the next second, there were two screams. When Mafuchu turned back, the assailants had disappeared, leaving everyone bewildered, not understanding what had happened. By then, Mafuchu knew who the rescuer was. Who else could instantly defeat two Golden Core experts but him? Realizing this, Mafuchu Fuchi yelled at the stunned disciples nearby. What are you standing around for? Heal me. At this moment, inside the main hall of the Jade Pure Sect's main peak, the door was suddenly kicked open. Li Qingzi, frightened, hastily attempted to destroy any sensitive documents. The two individuals in straw raincoats were thrown inside. These two tried to capture
capture Mafuchu. I'm leaving them to you. The newcomer was Han Ju. When Li Qingzi saw the straw hats and dual blades, his face immediately turned pale. A straw raincoat fades into the distance, dual blades that could slay the righteous paths immortals. The Supreme Elder emerged out of nowhere. If I'm not mistaken, these should be members of the Raincoat Holy Church. A thousand years ago, the Raincoat Holy Church once dominated the Great Swallow Cultivation World. They were driven into hiding by a coalition of the Righteous Path for harming various sects geniuses. Recently, they have resurfaced and captured many talented disciples from the Righteous Path. They seem to have access to a lot of our information. The disciples they've captured are all geniuses. We suspect there's a traitor in our sect capable of gathering intelligence, either from the Morning Sun Pavilion or from within our own high ranks. We shouldn't jump to conclusions. This demonic cult has lain low for thousands of years and now suddenly emerges. They surely have significant schemes afoot. At this moment, Han Ju asked, What about the strength of the Raincoat Holy Church? Do they have any Fusion Void Realm cultivators? There are definitely spirit transformation level cultivators. As for the Fusion Void, it's unclear. Hearing this, Han Ju immediately thought of fleeing. Elder Han, there's no time to delay. I need to visit other sects with Li Qingzi personally to unite the righteous factions. The safety of the Jade Pure sect during this period is entrusted to you. As soon as the Supreme Elder finished speaking, the system popped up with options. 1. Refuse the request and leave the Jade Pure sect, obtaining a youth-preserving pill. 2. Accept the request, continue cultivating, and defend the Jade Pure sect. Ensure the sect remains safe until the sect leader returns, obtaining a spell manual and a spirit transformation realm cultivation elixir. Upon seeing the system's choices, he immediately chose the second option. As long as I don't have to leave, everything is negotiable. Hearing Han Ju actually agreed, both were overjoyed. Thus, six more years passed, and Han Ju broke through to the fifth level of the nascent soul, extending his lifespan to 1,080 years. Only then did he remember his own disciple. It seems like it's been a long time since I've heard from him. Was asking him to be first on the monthly board too much? He then checked his social circle to see if there were any updates from his disciple. It's all news about attacks by the Raincoat Holy Church. My disciple has also been captured by the Raincoat Holy Church. No wonder there's been no news. Logically, as a master, it's only right for me to rescue him in times of trouble. But Han Ju immediately dismissed the idea. Han Ju would not take risks. This is definitely a trap. Sorry, my dear disciple, your master is powerless. I can only wish you fend for yourself and have a better life in your next life. Since I'm not going out, then as an elder, I should do something for the sect, at least to justify the sect's investment in me. At that moment, Han Ju suddenly thought, Li Qingzi had suspected there was a spy among the elders. Could there be members of the Raincoat Holy Church inside the Jade Pure sect? Just as he thought this, the system suddenly popped up with a red character relationship. Looking up, it's Dao Lei, so the traitor is him, a secret steward for the Raincoat Holy Church, at the seventh level of the nascent soul realm. He's been hiding deep. No wonder after saving the Jade Pure sect that day, he was the only high-ranking member who didn't show any fondness for me. I thought he was just being aloof, but he turned out to be a spy. However, both the sect leader and the supreme elder away from the sect, the only one I can trust now is my master. Immediately, Han Ju went to see Shishuan Ferry. I have discovered that there is a spy from the Raincoat Holy Church among the elders. How should we resolve this? Shishuan Ferry directly asked, Who is it? Dao Lei from Thunder Peak. Han Ju was thinking about how to convince his master when Shishuan Ferry simply said two words, Kill him. Hearing this, Han Ju was bewildered. They must have some personal grudge. She's decided on execution without even asking for evidence. I've long noticed something wrong with him. Since even you say so, it must be true. There's no need to inform the other elders. Let's go directly to Thunder Peak. Soon, the two arrived at Thunder Peak. Dao Lei was preparing to greet them, but before he could speak, the three pure shadow sword pierced through Dao Lei's chest, pinning him to the wall of the main hall. Dao Lei was extremely frightened. You, what does this mean? Han Ju appeared emotionlessly in front of Dao Lei. Someone has accused you of being a secret steward for the Raincoat Holy Church. The recent incidents involving our disciples cannot be disconnected from you. Today, I shall eliminate the menace for the Jade Pure sect and avenge those missing talented disciples. Dao Lei was shocked. He immediately detonated himself, transforming into lightning in an attempt to flee the Grand Hall. However, Han Ju simply raised his right hand and cast Myriad Thunderstorm. Instantly, countless bolts of lightning filled the entire hall. When the smoke cleared, only Dao Lei's primordial spirit remained, as his physical body had been destroyed. He hastily pleaded for mercy from Han Ju. Han, Elder Han, please spare me. I confess. I'll confess everything. Han Ju wouldn't leave himself a future threat. He ended him with a Nine Dragons Demon Subduing Seal. The cleanup was left to Shishuan Ferry. As the disciples of Thunder Peak noticed the commotion and rushed over, Shishuan Ferry calmly told them, after investigation by the God-slaying Elder, it has been found that Thunder Peak's Elder Dao Lei was a secret steward for the Raincoat Holy Church. He has been executed, but the disciples simply couldn't believe it. When other elders heard about this, they also questioned Shishuan Ferry. He has been diligent for so many years, and he's a traitor? Is there any evidence? However, when Shishuan 
Shishuan Fairy presented Dao Lei's storage ring and everyone saw the correspondence between him and the raincoat holy church, the elders finally realized the truth. They were also terrified by Han Ju's formidable abilities. At this time, Han Ju was lying on a large tree, reviewing his relationship list. Fortunately, only Dao Lei among the elders was a spy, but at the steward level, it's a whole different story. Aside from the raincoat holy church, there are spies from both righteous and demonic paths, as well as some cultivation families. Han Ju was dumbfounded. It's like a sieve. To avoid alarming them, I'll just memorize the names for now and deal with them later. Just then, the system suddenly notified him of an innate destiny individual. Han Ju was astonished when he saw the information about this person. Compared to this, my disciple's bloodline is trash. He was also shocked. Do these individuals really exist? The next second, Han Ju approached an old man pulling a cart, blocking his path. Old man, could you give me one of those chicks? However, the old man stated, this is to be delivered to the inner sect. At this point, Han Ju presented his token as the god-slaying elder. It's fine. I am the jade pure sex god-slaying elder. If they ask, just say I took one of your chicks. The old man was surprised and quickly let Han Ju choose as he pleased. Opening the chicken cage, Han Ju's eyes immediately spotted the distinct little black chicken. This chicken was the innate destiny individual, the dark prison chicken, a reincarnation of a demonic saint from the upper realms, originally the dark prison phoenix. Having killed countless beings and offended the heavens, it was executed by the celestial court. Its soul entered the cycle of reincarnation and was reborn in the mortal world. Its soul will continually transform its body until it fully turns back into the dark prison phoenix. Currently, it's in the form of a chick with the intelligence of a two-year-old child. Han Ju became excited. This chick, I'll take it. When the sect leader and the supreme elder returned, Shishuan Fairy couldn't help but laugh upon seeing them. Master, senior brother, you finally returned. You both look quite happy. Was the journey smooth? The two thought Shishuan Fairy was showing concern for them, which made them quite happy. Then, Shishuan Fairy informed them about the incident with Dao Lei. They were so angry that they wished they could whip his corpse. With the successful return of Li Qingzi and the sect leader, Han Ju also received rewards from the system. The Wind God Technique, a wind element spell allowing one to ride the winds and even transform one's body into wind, and 12 Spirit Transformation Spirit Concentration Pills, superior cultivation elixirs for the spirit transformation realm. After bringing the little black chicken back to his cave dwelling, Han Ju made a considerable effort to teach it how to absorb energy. It took a great deal of effort to teach it and to have it use energy absorption to alleviate hunger. Han Ju was relieved, otherwise, the heavenly materials and earthly treasures in his cave dwelling would have been devoured by it sooner or later. Xing Hongxian also mentioned, My husband, you needn't worry, I've obtained quite a few heavenly materials and earthly treasures during my travels, all of which I've planted for you. Not only these, but I also have a big gift for you. Guess what it is? Without thinking, Han Ju guessed it was a storage ring, and surprisingly, he guessed correctly. Last month, when she and her fellow disciples went out for experience, they encountered a battle between righteous and demonic factions. After defeating the demonic cult together, they conveniently took a storage ring. Finding it contained many treasures, she immediately decided to bring it to Han Ju. See, going out for cultivation experience isn't without rewards. With your strength, you'll definitely thrive. However, Han Ju refused. Forget it. You keep the storage ring for yourself. I just want to live a peaceful life. Face reality. The Jade Pure Sect can't protect you forever. There are countless sects stronger than the Jade Pure Sect beyond your imagination. So, where does the Jade Pure Sect rank in the Great Swallow Cultivation World? The Great Swallow Cultivation World has over 20 sects. Among the Righteous Path, there are 12. The Jade Pure Sect could be considered in the top 5. Hearing this, Han Ju thought, only the top 5? No wonder the Jade Pure Sect has so many enemies. Xing Hongxian continued, actually, the difference in strength among most sects isn't significant, mainly because there's no martial competition to determine the real rankings. By the way, a prominent figure has recently emerged in the Vermilion Bird Sect named Huang Jihao. He killed a nascent soul old monster when he was only at the Golden Core Realm. Now, he's likely achieved spirit transformation. It's said he wants to challenge all the sects in the Great Swallow Cultivation World. What if he really comes to our Jade Pure Sect? You can't possibly not take action, right, God Slaying Elder? Hearing this, Han Ju was utterly speechless inside. What does the God Slaying Elder's business have to do with me, Han Ju? Why is there always such a battle-crazed fanatic wherever I go? He then asked, has Huang Jihao killed anyone? No, he hasn't. After all, the Vermilion Bird Sect is also a righteous sect. Hearing this, Han Ju immediately relaxed. Let him come then. I, Han, am always ready to welcome him. A year later, in a forest a few miles away from the Jade Pure Sect, Yi San Lang, a steward of the Raincoat Holy Church, was waiting for Dao Lei. Puzzled, he thought, I've been waiting for over a month. Why hasn't he arrived? Rumors had it that the Jade Pure Sect's God-slaying elder was extremely fierce, slapping even dogs he encountered. Yet, other rumors described him as exceedingly cautious, and he had never been seen. If it weren't for him guarding the Jade Pure Sect, Yi San Lang would have ventured into the Jade Pure Sect long ago. Just
Just then, a figure suddenly appeared behind Yi San Lang. Are you steward Yi of the raincoat holy church? The newcomer was Han Ju. Thanks to periodically using the system to detect strong individuals nearby, he had discovered Yi San Lang. He told Yi San Lang, I am a direct disciple of Dao Lei. Recently, Dao Lei has been targeted by the sect leader and couldn't get away, so he specially sent me to take over. However, Yi San Lang suddenly struck Han Ju's chest with a palm. Our secret signal isn't that. Secondly, including the spy himself, no one knows his identity. Yi San Lang's surprise. Not only was Han Ju unharmed by his palm strike, but Yi San Lang himself was also repelled by the force. Yi San Lang was shocked. What's going on? I couldn't breach his defense. I was repelled with just one exchange. This level of power, I've only seen in our leader. You're clearly only at the ninth level of the foundation establishment realm. How can you be so strong? Suddenly, he thought of someone at the ninth level of the foundation establishment. Could it be? His face turned pale with fear, and he turned to flee. This is trouble. To deal with the godslaying elder, we'd need to mobilize half of our high-level forces at all costs. The information must be sent. But before he could get far, Han Ju eliminated him with a heaven-punishing demon god sword. His primordial spirit barely had a chance to escape before it was locked down by Han Ju using myriad thunderstorm. Speak. What exactly is the Raincoat Holy Church planning? It turned out that their plan, before swallowing up sex, was to capture the geniuses within those sects and bring them to concentration camps. Once a sect was destroyed, these geniuses, having nowhere else to go, would have no choice but to join them. At that moment, Han Ju coldly asked, Are you targeting only the Jade Pure sect or the entire cultivation world? The entire cultivation world. Han Ju continued, You're quite bold. Does the Raincoat Holy Church have any cultivators in the Spirit Transformation or Fusion Void Realm? There are those in the Spirit Transformation Realm, but as for the Fusion Void Realm, I don't know. With the Raincoat Holy Church being so strong, why stay hidden? Where are all the geniuses from various sects being held? Yi San Lang, looking miserable, responded, I'm just an ordinary steward. I don't know these things. A nascent soul 7th level cultivator is just an ordinary steward? This church is terrifying. At this point, Yi San Lang, trembling, pleaded, Senior, I won't dare anymore. Please spare me. But at that moment, Han Ju suddenly received a system notification. Yi San Lang's hatred towards you has reached 6 stars. Han Ju sighed internally, You've chosen a dead end path. He then spoke indifferently, You may leave. Yi San Lang was overjoyed upon hearing this. But the next second, his primordial spirit was directly extinguished by Han Ju. Not far away, Xing Hong Xian unexpectedly found another storage ring. Wow, I found another storage ring I'll take it back to my husband. Two years later, Li Qingzi came to Han Ju's cave dwelling. I have a favor to ask of Elder Han. We've located where the Raincoat Holy Church is holding the geniuses. The terrain is easy to defend, but hard to attack. We will handle the frontal assault while you cut in to take their heads. However, Han Ju refused without a second thought. I think it's inappropriate. What if it's a ploy to draw the tiger away from the mountain? What if the Raincoat Holy Church sends a spirit transformation cultivator to attack the Jade Pure sect while I'm away? Can you hold them off? Remember, a nascent soul 7th level cultivator is only a steward in the Raincoat Holy Church. Li Qingzi, realizing Han Ju's reasoning was sound, said, Indeed, then I'll handle it myself. The safety of the Jade Pure sect will be in your hands, Elder Han. Han Ju immediately stated, Unless faced with a fusion void realm powerhouse, no one can think of attacking the Jade Pure sect. With Han Ju's assurance, Li Qingzi left contentedly. After Li Qingzi departed, Han Ju entered the simulation battlefield to test his limits. He chose Duan Tong Tian as his opponent, setting his cultivation level to the ninth layer of spirit transformation. After the battle, Han Ju exited the simulation, but his expression was grim. A draw against the ninth layer spirit transformation realm, facing a fusion void realm, I'd be dead for sure. It seems I need to go into seclusion for cultivation immediately. He then checked his social circle to see updates, finding his poor disciple still getting beaten, silently praying, hold on, my disciple, I'll come to rescue you once I'm confident in my strength. Meanwhile, in a dark, dilapidated house, four individuals in straw raincoats were sitting together. They had been waiting for Yi San Lang's return for a long time and began to speculate if something had happened to him. Just then, the door was kicked open. As the straw raincoat individuals prepared to attack, the intruder mocked, This is your level? I can't even be bothered to draw my sword. The few straw raincoat individuals were startled. Who are you? I am Huang Jihao from the Vermilion Bird Sword Sect. I'm here to challenge the raincoat holy church. Tell me, where is your headquarters? Upon realizing the visitor was Huang Jihao, the faces of the individuals changed drastically. In a moment of quick thinking, one of them said, Our leader is currently in seclusion and won't be out anytime soon. Why don't you first challenge the Jade Pure sect? If you defeat that person, we will disclose the location of our holy church's main entrance to you. Huang Jihao was momentarily stunned. Challenge the Jade Pure sect? That declining sect poses no challenge. It's different now. Recently, the Jade Pure sect has produced a formidable individual known as the God Slaying Elder. He has slain a spirit transformation powerhouse with a single sword strike. His strength is unfathomable. However, Huang Jihao responded, I have crossed swords with the sect leader and supreme elder of the Jade Pure sect.
sect. Their strength was mediocre, and I've never heard of any god-slaying elder. The members of the raincoat sect hastily assured him, just ask around, and you'll know, we would never dare to deceive you. First, tell me the location of the raincoat sect. I'll challenge the jade pure sect first, then head to the raincoat sect. Upon hearing this, the members were stunned. They thought they could avoid a disaster, but to save their lives, they ultimately decided to compromise. The scene shifts to Han Ju's cave dwelling. Chan Yuer came to visit again that day. When she saw the chick, she was instantly charmed and rushed towards the chick, now nearly as tall as a person. Han Ju warned Chan Yuer not to mess it up. This is my precious mount. Chan Yuer laughed, using a chicken as a mount. You're really something. I must say, every time I see your face, it's a pleasure. And with your talents, I'm curious about your parents. They must be extraordinary, right? Han Ju replied calmly. They were just ordinary people. Over a hundred years have passed. They're probably long gone. The moment they abandoned me, we no longer had any familial bonds. Even old Tai showed more responsibility than them. He then swiftly changed the subject. If there's something you want to say, just say it. Junior brother Han, do you know about Elder Guan? He's our master's third senior brother. Han Ju responded, I don't know him. 300 years ago, he had to leave for refuge because he offended someone. Recently, there have been rumors that he's coming back. Haven't the elders told you? Han Ju casually cleaned his ears. Anyway, it's none of my business. It's said that Elder Guan's return is to vie for the position of sect leader. That's also sect leader Lee's problem. Let him worry about it. Elder Guan is said to be quite fond of our master. Maybe he will become our master's cultivation partner. Hearing this, Han Ju's expression changed immediately. So, what's Elder Guan's strength like? It's said that he gained fortune outside the Great Swallow and has achieved spirit transformation. Finally, the sect has such a powerful figure coming. The elders are celebrating with fireworks. Hearing this, Han Ju said, I got it. Sister, you can go back first. Chan Yuer sensed that something was off with Han Ju and hurriedly left. Watching Chan Yuer's departing figure, Han Ju said, please relay a message to sect leader Lee. I will ensure his position as sect leader remains secure. His gaze became complex. A battle with Elder Guan seems inevitable. But right now, the most troublesome is Huang Jihao, with his profound comprehension of the sword path. It turned out that the system had just detected an innate destiny individual nearby, who was Huang Jihao. At this moment, Han Ju also felt a headache coming on, triggering a system quest that could reward a spiritual treasure. Han Ju decided to engage in a simulation trial first. However, after five minutes, Han Ju defeated the target. Attempting again, it took only two minutes this time. Han Ju became distressed. I can't defeat him instantly, as expected of someone with an innate sword heart to last two minutes against me. It seems difficult to avoid making a big scene this time. It's already too late. I have to intercept him halfway. Otherwise, it'll be hard to act low-key once he reaches the sect. At the base of the Jade Pure sect, Wang Jihao was slowly making his way. Suddenly, he discovered a person leaning against a large tree. Foundation Establishment Realm 9th level? I didn't sense him. This young man is interesting. As he looked at Han Ju, under the system's cursed charm boost, Wang Jihao almost swayed, delicate and attractive, graceful and slim, with soft, tender lips that seem breakable by a blow, and hair that dances with the hormones of youth. Truly, he looks remarkably handsome. Just then, Han Ju suddenly received a system notification. Wang Jihao's favorability towards you has risen to two stars. He immediately felt goosebumps all over. What the hell is this? I haven't done anything. How did he suddenly start liking me? At that moment, Wang Jihao spoke up. Kid, I've taken a liking to you. How about you become my disciple? Achieving nascent soul will be no difficult feat for you in the future. Han Ju was instantly creeped out, feeling goosebumps. Did my ultimate charm get misused? Why does it always attract them? Han Ju then asked in a serious tone. Who are you? And why have you come to the Jade Pure Sect? I am Huang Jihao of the Vermilion Bird Sword Sect. Have you heard of me? I've come to the Jade Pure Sect naturally to challenge your godslaying elder. Why only challenge the godslaying elder? What about the others in the Jade Pure Sect? Your sect leader and the former sect leader have already been defeated by my hand. Originally, I couldn't be bothered with your sect, but the Raincoat Holy Church insisted I deal with your godslaying elder before they would disclose their headquarters location to me. Hearing this, Han Ju's hatred for the Raincoat Holy Church instantly escalated to six stars. Yet, Han Ju continued to inquire, so, how strong is their leader? It seems like the godslaying elder might not be a match for him. Their leader is very mysterious. I'm not clear on his strength. Do you have confidence in your abilities? Huang Jihao became impatient at this point. What's the use of asking so many questions? Are you going to become my disciple or not? Seeing Huang Jihao getting anxious, Han Ju was amused. The fish has bitten the bait. Becoming your disciple is not a problem, but you must first catch my sword strike. If you do, I'll become your disciple. Hearing this, Huang Jihao laughed. You must not have heard of my reputation. I'll take your sword strike. If you can injure me in the slightest, I'll turn around, leave, and never bother the Jade Pure sect again in my life. Hearing this, Han Ju was delighted. Then don't blame me for not holding back. When Han Ju brought out the Heaven Punishing Demon God Sword, Huang Jihao was immediately startled. This sword is no ordinary weapon. Instantly, the six types of spiritual power within Han Ju erupted like a volcano. Huang Jihao's pupils dilated. This spiritual power, I've been duped, he 
immediately mobilized his spiritual power to form protective shields in front of him, but the black sword energy from Han Ju's heaven punishing demon god sword was already upon him. Huang Jihao couldn't hold it back, the protective shields shattered instantly. In a critical moment, he leaped to barely dodge the strike. The sword energy swept across, carving a massive trench in the ground. Huang Jihao was stunned. What kind of sword technique is this? No, this must be a divine ability. As Huang Jihao landed, Han Ju couldn't help but tease. You really are exceptional in your reactions. The renowned Huang Jihao wouldn't go back on his word, right? Are you tricking me? Huang Jihao was shaking with anger, but soon calmed down. Even if that strike wasn't a sneak attack, I couldn't have blocked it. Who exactly are you? You come looking for me, and then ask who I am? Huang Jihao was taken aback, then closed his eyes to calm himself down. I said I wouldn't come back to the Jade Pure Sect. That's true. But once you leave the Jade Pure Sect, I will come to challenge you. After dropping these words, Huang Jihao left. Han Ju couldn't help but sneer playfully. Wait for me to leave the Jade Pure Sect. Can you afford to wait? As Huang Jihao walked away, fuming, the more he thought about it, the angrier he got. Suddenly, someone blocked his path. May I ask who you are? Why are you coming from the direction of the Jade Pure Sect? Acting all sneaky. You must be a heretic from an external sect. Huang Jihao was not in the mood to deal with him kindly. The man then said, Catching you and bringing you back will surely earn me some merit. The elders will think more highly of me. Heh, who do you think you are? Frustrated and looking for an outlet, Huang Jihao, holding his sword, went on the attack. On the other hand, after defeating Huang Jihao, Han Ju received a system reward, a sixth grade spiritual treasure, the Burn Evil Bell, capable of defending against all attacks below the Fusion Void Realm. When infused with spiritual power, the bell's weight increases with the amount of power injected, until it becomes as heavy as a massive mountain. Han Ju was instantly excited, wearing the mystical god robe, cloaked with the Burn Evil Bell, I am unmatched under the heavens. Just then, the voice of Shishuan Fairy came from outside the cave dwelling. Han Ju hurriedly welcomed his master into the dwelling. This was the first time Shishuan Fairy had proactively sought out Han Ju. Shishuan Fairy then took the initiative to speak to Han Ju. You are as told you about my senior brother, Guan Yu Gang, right? I've heard a bit about him. He returned yesterday, but he encountered Huang Jihao near the Jade Pure Sect and ended up severely injured. Han Ju was speechless upon hearing this. That's so like you, old Huang. But in front of Shishuan Fairy, all he could do was sigh. Guan Yu Gang is truly unfortunate. Meanwhile, he thought to himself, so weak. Shishuan Fairy continued. He was defeated by Huang Jihao even when Huang was injured. Also, a nearby forest seems to have been destroyed by sword energy. It must have been Huang Jihao coming to challenge our Jade Pure Sect. But he was repelled by you, right? Han Ju immediately panicked. Yes, master, you're not here to blame me, are you? Seeing Han Ju admit it, Shishuan Fairy actually smiled. Why would I? I just didn't expect that the renowned Huang Jihao would be defeated by a junior like you. I came here hoping you could help me suppress senior brother Guan. Han Ju was immediately confused. Suppress Gu Yugang? Sect leader might not be as powerful as senior brother Guan, but he has dedicated himself to the Jade Pure Sect, even at the cost of his own cultivation progress. It would be disheartening to remove him from his position as sect leader now. Once his injuries are healed, I'll have him challenge you first. If he can defeat you, he can take the position of sect leader. What do you think? Faced with his master's request, Han Ju immediately agreed. That's possible, but it's best if this battle is kept quiet. Of course, it's also to save face for senior brother Guan. At that moment, Shishuan Fairy noticed the chick on the side. You're raising a chicken? This one looks quite extraordinary. Han Ju quickly explained with a smile. Cultivation can be quite dull sometimes. Having it for company isn't so bad. Shishuan Fairy was amused by Han Ju's words. You find it boring too? Speaking of which, the once in a century Immortal Realm Conference is about to begin. There, you can exchange equivalent resources for treasures, elixirs, heavenly materials and earthly treasures, and even secret cultivation manuals. Would you like to go? Han Ju immediately refused without a second thought. I just want to focus on my cultivation and seclusion. I don't need to take risks by going out for now. Meanwhile, within the Vermilion Bird Sword Sect, Wang Jihao reported everything that had happened at the Jade Pure Sect to the sect leader. The sect leader was clearly startled by the news. This is serious. You are the highest combat power in our sect aside from myself. His spiritual power is extremely dominant. It was my first encounter with such a force. Also, this person is extremely handsome. No one in our Vermilion Bird Sword sect can match his appearance. At this point, Wang Jihao's cheeks turned red with embarrassment. The master of the Vermilion Bird Sword sect had a deadpan expression. Is that important? Wang Jihao quickly added awkwardly, well, no, it's not that important. Upon this, Wang Jihao stated, once I recover from my injuries, I plan to challenge the Raincoat Holy Church. Sect Master Tang Han couldn't help but frown them again. Although they have been in decline for a thousand years, a camel that's starved to death is still bigger than a horse. The Supreme Elder from the Jade Pure Sect approached me before, hoping that the Righteous Path could join forces against the Raincoat Holy Church. I didn't agree, because as long as that person lives, the Raincoat Holy Church won't perish. The leader of the Raincoat Holy Church was as spirited as you in his youth. He fell into the Demon Path by chance.
chance and became the leader of the Raincoat Holy Church. This would be a good opportunity to test his strength, but don't be reckless. If you're not a match, retreat immediately. Don't worry, I may be bold, but I'm not foolish. Seven years later, Han Ju was looking at his social circle again. After my disciple and Zhou Fan were captured, their cultivation levels actually increased, but their status hasn't changed. It seems they're just pretending to compromise. As for sect leader Li, he's either being beaten up or on his way to be beaten up. At this moment, the chicks suddenly asked Han Ju, what's the outside world like? I want to see what's beyond the mountain. Now, the chick's strength is equivalent to an energy cultivation realm 8th layer cultivator. Not even all humans could achieve such speed, but its intellect is growing, and it's becoming increasingly curious about the outside world. It seems I have to brainwash him, Han Ju thought. So he said, the outside world is very dangerous. Many people want to eat you. You see, these are your forbidden zones. Remember, you can't go there. You must become absolutely invincible before you venture out. Otherwise, you'll surely die. Even I dare not recklessly venture out. The chick was immediately scared. Master, stop. I won't go out. Han Ju smirked, brainwashing successful. Just then, Li Qingzi hurried over. Elder Han, there's trouble. Maple Valley has been destroyed by the Raincoat Holy Church. The Valley Master sent a message before his death, saying that within the Raincoat Holy Church, there are ten spirit transformation cultivators powerful enough to sweep through the Great Swallow Cultivation World. Their next target might very well be our Jade Pure Sect. As soon as the words were spoken, Han Ju quickly packed his bags. Seeing this, Li Qingzi sincerely exclaimed, You act swiftly in a crisis, reliable and steady. I indeed wasn't wrong about you. However, after packing, Han Ju said, Then shouldn't we run away quickly? Li Qingzi was petrified on the spot, then clutched at his legs. Listen to yourself. Is that something you should say? Besides, where can we disciples flee to? Even if we did run, there would be no place for us to stand. Those sects would only swallow us up. The Jade Pure Sect would still be doomed. Han Ju was about to say, It doesn't matter if the Jade Pure Sect is gone, as long as the people are still alive. When the system presented him with choices, faced with the annihilation of the Jade Pure Sect, you have the following options. 1. Run away immediately, be pursued by the Raincoat Holy Church, wander the world, and receive a magical tool. 2. Defend the sect. In life, one cannot always retreat. After repelling the Raincoat Holy Church, receive a spiritual treasure, a sword technique manual, and a destiny beast egg. Faced with the choices presented by the system, Han Ju fell into silence. Indeed, where could I flee? Constantly running and wandering the world is not the life I aspire to. Perhaps I could join them if we can't beat them, but that wouldn't be laying low anymore. It would be cowardice. Han Ju then asked, Li Qingzi, when will they come to attack? Li Qingzi replied, the Raincoat Holy Church still needs time to clean up the aftermath at Maple Valley. We probably have about 10 years. At this moment, Han Ju placed his hand on Li Qingzi's shoulder. Sect leader, why has our Jade Pure Sect been targeted continuously? I used to think the Jade Pure Sect was very strong. It seems like you've brought the Jade Pure Sect to heights it doesn't belong to. Li Qingzi awkwardly admitted, actually, the Jade Pure Sect is very powerful. It's just that the strongest among us, our founding ancestor, has been gone without a trace for 500 years. If he were here, the Raincoat Holy Church wouldn't dare to touch us. A thousand years ago, he utterly defeated the Raincoat Holy Church, making their leader so traumatized that he became reclusive. Han Ju immediately understood, so the Raincoat Holy Church is seeking revenge on us? Li Qingzi became somewhat embarrassed. I and Master have already used the messaging treasure left by the ancestor. As long as the ancestor returns, the Raincoat Holy Church will no longer be a threat. He then held Han Ju's hand with deep emotion. We must get through this crisis. As long as we do, you can continue your cultivation in peace without threats. Reluctantly, Han Ju could only agree. But the next second, he kicked Li Qingzi away. But let's make it clear first, if we can't beat them, I'll run away immediately. Li Qingzi immediately reassured him, of course, that's understood. Then Han Ju asked, does the sect have any elixirs suitable for the nascent soul realm? Li Qingzi admitted, our sect is in dire need of alchemists. You'll have to figure that out yourself. Without saying another word, Han Ju turned and walked away. Farewell. Li Qingzi, in a panic, shouted from behind, hey, 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 we just agreed, you're sticking with Jade Pure Sect, remember. However, Han Ju clarified, just kidding, I'm going to buy a beast control bag to make it convenient for me to run away when the time comes. On the way, Han Ju didn't forget to speak to the chick, little chick, see, it really is dangerous. Even if we don't provoke trouble, there are enemies who want to kill us. Ah, master, why don't we quietly run away, the chick suggested. Hearing this, Han Ju felt reassured, indeed, you've truly learned from me. Soon after purchasing the beast control bag, Han Ju was ready to return when the system alerted him to the presence of an innate destiny individual. Surprised, Han Ju thought, another innate destiny individual? Jade Pure Sect really is a place of great fortune. He then opened the profile to check the information about the person of fate, Xian Qing Jun. She was at the Foundation Establishment Realm Third Layer, but her true identity was that of a Demon Lord's moral body, with innate Tao heart and exceptional talent. 800 years ago, the Demon Lord wanted to break through and ascend, hence creating a moral body. The original self was sealed deep 
deep within the primordial spirit, the mortal body traveled the human world, experiencing all aspects of life to solidify the Tao heart, leaving her footprints across all the heavens and lands. Three years ago, she joined Jade Pure Sect and has been lying low ever since. After seeing the detailed information about this individual, Han Ju immediately panicked, an innate Tao heart demon lord who was about to ascend. At the very least, this was a great vehicle cultivator. At this moment, he noticed the only woman nearby, presuming her to be demon lord Xian Qing Jun. Just as Han Ju planned to sneak away quietly, he was noticed by Xian Qing Jun. When the system informed him that Xian Qing Jun's favorability towards him had reached one star, his expression drastically changed, cursing his unfortunate charm. As he instinctively looked back, his gaze met Xian Qing Jun's in the air, causing her favorability towards Han Ju to increase to two stars. Terrified, Han Ju immediately activated the wind god technique to make his escape, with the chick also expressing fear. Master, that woman's gaze, is she going to eat you? The outside world is indeed dangerous. Upon returning to his cave abode, it wasn't long before Xian Qing Jun arrived at the entrance. Observing the words Han Ju had written on the door, a moment of patience leads to a vast ocean and sky. Xian Qing Jun pondered and actually found some truth in them, growing even more interested in Han Ju. I'm becoming more and more interested in you. I like to save the tasty ones for last. I'll visit again next time, she said before turning to leave. Watching Xian Qing Jun's departing figure, Han Ju finally breathed a sigh of relief. It must have been the formation that kept her from finding the entrance. However, he was immensely troubled at this moment, setting aside Raincoat Holy Church. Now I've attracted a demon lord. Although she appears to be at the Foundation Establishment realm, she possesses at least great vehicle strength. Who can withstand that? I hope she forgets about me. After that, Han Ju continued his seclusion for another seven years, reaching the eighth layer of the nascent soul realm. However, he still felt his progress was too slow. I must break through to the spirit transformation before Raincoat Holy Church attacks, he thought. Han Ju then checked the recent updates in his friend's circle and discovered that Li Qingzi had been seriously injured in an attack by a fellow sect member. Han Ju was puzzled. I thought I had checked for traitors. Suddenly, he remembered Guan Yu Gang and realized what had happened. After checking his master's updates and seeing nothing significant had happened, he breathed a sigh of relief. Just then, a voice came from outside. Fellow Taoist, may I visit you? The visitor was Xian Qing Jun, who had attempted to visit twice in the past seven years without success. She hasn't tried to force her way in, so it seems she means no harm, but three times is too much. If I ignore her again, she might just tear down my place. Upon seeing Han Ju come out, Xian Qing Jun smiled. You finally showed up. At this moment, the chick was terrified and began to cry, begging Xian Qing Jun, no, please, I beg you, don't eat my master. This left Xian Qing Jun completely bewildered. Han Ju quickly punched the chick, sending it flying. I am Han Ju. May I ask why fellow Taoist visits my humble abode? I am Xian Qing Jun, a disciple from Jade Bamboo Peak. I encountered you in the inner sect years ago and was struck by what it means to be stunningly peerless. Since then, your image has been imprinted in my heart. Your handsomeness is truly unmatched in this world. Hearing such lavish praise, Han Ju didn't know how to respond and after a moment, said softly, thank you for the compliments. If there's nothing else, may I leave? However, Xian Qing Jun stopped Han Ju, taking out a card. I wish to offer a treasure and hope you will not refuse. This is the Heavenly Immortal Mansion Order. The Heavenly Immortal Mansion is a sacred place for cultivation in the cultivation world. Possessing this card grants access to the sacred land. One who leaves there, even at their worst, can achieve nascent soul. Kid, I don't believe you're not tempted. With your splendid appearance, I'm determined to have you. Yet Han Ju said, I don't wish to leave the Jade Pure Sect. I plan to cultivate here for the rest of my life. Xian Qing Jun was stunned for a moment before she turned around and continued to rummage for something. You don't fancy it, elder brother? No worries, I have more. Here is a earth spirit sword, capable of easily slaying golden core realm experts. Seeing Han Ju remain unmoved, Xian Qing Jun pulled out a bottle of elixir. Then, I'll gift you a bottle of elixir for breaking through to the golden core realm. But Han Ju was still indifferent. I'll also give you a body refining technique, plus three spell manuals, and more. Watching Xian Qing Jun continuously pulling out items, Han Ju hastily stopped her and then revealed his true cultivation level. Actually, I am already at the nascent soul realm. Seeing Han Ju's cultivation, Xian Qing Jun immediately guessed that Han Ju was the god-slaying elder. At that moment, Han Ju also received a prompt from the system indicating that Xian Qing Jun's fondness for him had increased to four stars. Knowing Han Ju's identity made Xian Qing Jun even happier. She took out a bottle of elixir. This is a first-grade nascent soul pill, which can help you break through to the spirit transformation realm. Is one bottle enough? If not, I can give you another. Han Ju couldn't resist any longer. Cautiously, he asked, Junior sister, what exactly is your background? Xian Qing Jun, smiling, said, My identity isn't important, but I would like to become cultivation partners with senior brother. Would you be willing? Han Ju was stunned by the proposal and then said, You're able to offer so many treasures. Surely you're no ordinary person. Could you possibly help us fight against the raincoat holy church? Xian Qing Jun 
outright refused. No, I'm only interested in seeing your brother. Figures, mobilizing a demon lord was never going to be easy. After a moment, Han Ju cautiously asked, if I agree, what would be the cost? Xin Qing Jun covered her mouth and giggled. The cost would be to cultivate and become stronger together. Would you like that? Immediately after her words, the system prompt appeared. Xin Qing Jun wants to become your cultivation partner. You have the following choices. 1. Refuse. How can a male cultivator be threatened by a woman? You will gain the enmity of a demon lord and receive a sword Tao divine ability inheritance. 2. Accept. Become cultivation partners and be entwined in fate and fortune, gaining the favor of a demon lord and a divine ability inheritance. Seeing these choices, Anju was speechless. Is the system doing this on purpose? Even the font size is so different. Meanwhile, inside the raincoat set, members were repeatedly beating Yang Tiandong and Zhou Fan until they grew tired and stopped. These two from the Jade Pure sect are really stubborn. It's bad enough they try to escape every year, but even after being captured and beaten, they still don't give up. However, to unite the people, the sect leader won't allow us to kill the prisoners. They lamented before deciding to go out for a drink to relax. As they left, Zhou Fan made a vow. If I ever achieve great power, I will ensure that the raincoat sect is utterly destroyed. Lying on the ground, Yang Tiandong clenched his teeth and said, so this was your plan? We got caught before we could even make it out. Zhou Fan felt incredibly wrong. Who knew there would be someone training a giant lizard on the roof? With a sigh, Yang Tiandong said, Brother Zhou, let's not struggle anymore. Let's wait for my master to come. Zhou Fan replied irritably, your master, the Slayer Elder, sorry, but he won't come. Hearing this, Yang Tiandong became agitated. Nonsense. My master is so powerful that no one in the Jade Pure sect can match him. If he doesn't come, who will? Your master indeed possesses the greatest talent I have ever seen, and his strength is a fact. But he fears death. This last sentence he only dared to mutter to himself in his mind. Hearing Zhou Fan's affirmation, Yang Tiandong's face lit up with admiration. Right, right, my master is just that awesome. He must have come already. Maybe he's watching me from the shadows, wanting to see if I can endure hardships and if my Tao heart is stable enough. Zhou Fan rolled his eyes. This kid must be delusional. Better not to say anything and leave this poor child with some hope. Meanwhile, inside Han Ju's cave, just after reluctantly agreeing to become Xian Qingjun's cultivation partner under her threats and inducements, Han Ju received the system reward of the divine ability Somersault Cloud. He also received three bottles of nascent soul elixir from Xian Qingjun. No choice, she just offered too much. The chicken watched Han Ju, asking, Master, will she eat you? Han Ju immediately shut its mouth with a kick and poured an elixir into his mouth. Don't speak ill of my cultivation partner. After swallowing the elixir, he instantly felt his six spiritual powers cleansed and transparent, with the efficiency of absorption accelerated once again after many years. The medicine's effect was indeed potent. Two years later, with the help of the elixir, Han Ju successfully reached the peak of the nascent soul ninth layer. He habitually used the system to check for the strongest nearby individuals, and upon confirming there was no one else, he could finally prepare for his breakthrough with peace of mind. Just as he was about to go to the myriad demon realm for the breakthrough, Li Qingzi came running excitedly, shouting, good news. Huang Jihao was captured by the raincoat holy church after challenging them, which angered the vermilion bird sword sect. They are preparing to join us in attacking the raincoat holy church. The situation is turning around. Hearing this, Han Ju also got excited. I really love Huang Jihao now. He really knows how to stir things up, and this time he did it right. But Li Qingzi immediately continued, so I plan to invite this time. Han Ju suddenly had a bad feeling and quickly interrupted Li Qingzi. I understand what you mean. You want to take one elder away, and are worried about the impact on the set, right? That's not what I meant. Send all the elders if you must. With me alone, Jade Pure Sect is well defended. Li Qingzi immediately became so frustrated that his nose turned red. You really are a survivor. But then Han Ju added another sentence. I am about to break through to the spirit transformation. I need some time. Li Qingzi was suddenly stunned, but the next second, the situation changed dramatically. Good. You focus on your breakthrough. Leave the task of dealing with Raincoat Holy Church to us. After Li Qingzi left, Han Ju went to the myriad demon realm. As he released his aura, a terrifying heavenly might enveloped this small world. The demons and beasts of the myriad demon realm were so frightened that they scattered. Moments later, a huge purple lightning engulfed Han Ju. On the other hand, Li Qingzi, disguised as a member of Raincoat Holy Church, arrived at their sect. When the gatekeeper asked for a token, Li Qingzi accidentally showed Jade Pure Sect sect leader's token. The gatekeeper was stunned to see it. Realizing his mistake, Li Qingzi quickly took back the token and replaced it with a Raincoat Holy Church's steward token, along with a cherished edition of a fairy special issue. The gatekeeper immediately let Li Qingzi pass, and was delighted to start looking through the fairy special. Li Qingzi smirked coldly, Mph, kid, everything is ready, just need to set up the teleportation formation. Soon, all members of Raincoat Holy Church received an order to rush to the sect entrance. Zhou Fan, seeing that almost all the guards had left the prison, sensed that something must have happened. Yang Tiandong suddenly got excited. Could it be that master is coming to save me? 
show fan also got excited. With so many people mobilized, it must be the sect engaging in a group battle. This is a rare opportunity. Should we try to escape again? But this time, Yang Tiandong refused to participate in any plan. Let's just forget it and wait for them to come save us. While the two were arguing, suddenly, a crack appeared in the ceiling, and a huge object fell down from above. Amidst the dust, a voice proclaimed, All trapped disciples of Jade Pure Set, I've come to save you. Seeing the newcomer was Li Qingzi excited Yang Tiandong and Zhou Fan tremendously. On the side of Jade Pure Set, Han Ju successfully advanced to the spirit transformation realm, earning a divine ability from the system as a reward. 10,000 Sword Divine Sect. This ability summons the shadows of ancient swords from the river of history, with the number summoned related to one's own spiritual power. What thrilled Han Ju the most was that after breaking through to spirit transformation, his lifespan reached 3,000 years, finally bringing the hope of longevity within reach. Seeing Han Ju return, the chicken finally relaxed. Master, you're finally back. I thought that woman had eaten you. Han Ju, speechless, tapped on its head. What are you always thinking about in that chicken brain of yours? The chicken immediately responded with a grievance. Master, am I not a phoenix? But you are a chicken now. Only through diligent cultivation can you become a phoenix. Alright, how long does diligent cultivation take? Then, Han Ju checked his social feed. Your friend Guan Yugang was heavily injured in an attack by Raincoat Holy Church. Your friend Li Qingzi was heavily injured in an attack by Raincoat Holy Church. Your friend Zhou Fan has escaped from Raincoat Holy Church. Your disciple Yang Tiandong has escaped from the Rainco people. He silently cheered for them in his heart. Suddenly, Xin Qingjun appeared behind Han Ju. I heard our Godslayer Elder has made a breakthrough. Han Ju was startled. You, what brings you here? Seeing Xin Qingjun leaning towards him, Han Ju suddenly thought, she's not going to force me to do that, right? Han Ju nervously looked at Xin Qingjun, only to hear her say, I've come to say goodbye. I'm preparing to leave. Han Ju was taken aback. Leave? It might be many years before we meet again, so I wanted to see you one last time. Before I go, if there's anything you want, I'll try to fulfill it. Han Ju's face lit up with joy, but he feigned concern. Can you not leave? Without you, my days will be lonely. Xin Qingjun, seeing Han Ju's reaction, wanted to hit him out of frustration. Your face seems all too eager. Dream on. I will need you, but not now. Don't expect me to spend all day with you in discussion. The time hasn't come yet. After pondering for a moment, Han Ju said, Ben, do you have any elixir that can improve the cultivation of spirit transformation realm? Xin Qingjun immediately took out four bottles of elixir from her sleeve. These are spirit transformation spirit enhancing pills. I only have these four bottles on me. I'll give them all to you. Han Ju quickly expressed his thanks. How can I accept this? Thank you so much. Xin Qingjun lifted Han Ju's chin with her hand. I won't see this face of yours for many years, and I really will miss it. Although you're at spirit transformation now, you're not invincible. Stay in Jade Pure Sect and cultivate well. Don't wander around. The cultivation world is very dangerous. My pretty boy, I'm leaving. After saying this, Xin Qingjun walked away. Seeing Xin Qingjun leave, Han Ju finally breathed a sigh of relief. It seems she was just passing through Jade Pure Sect and is now going somewhere else to seek the Tao. The chicken was also very happy. Finally, I don't have to worry about the master being eaten by her. He he he.